Well, today is the Throne Volunteers Day commemoration when Republicans from right throughout the county of Tyrone and beyond pay tribute to those men and women who gave their lives for Irish freedom. And the reason it's been held today in Castle Derg is because it coincides with the 40th anniversary of volunteers Seamus Harvey and Jared McGlynn, who died on active service in 1973. So local Republicans uh, met at the start of this year uh, in order to come up with an idea of how we could pay tribute to those volunteers uh, from this area and we decided that we would like to unveil uh, a monument to the men and women from the Castle Derg and Ahe Iron area who dedicated their lives in the struggle for Irish freedom and as is well documented uh, unionist politicians have whipped up hysteria and added to the controversy around this parade but we as nationalists and republicans in Castle Derg which is a nationalist majority town an increasing nationalist majority town we think that we have the same right uh, as the loyalist band parades do week in week out year on year in Castle Derg to march and demonstrate in our own town centre this parade is a respectful commemorative parade where friends and family members of the volunteers come to pay their respects uh, to those uh, volunteers uh, just in the same way that the unionist community in Castle Derg gather every Remembrance Sunday in the town centre of Castle Derg to pay tribute as what they would see as their patriot dead. So we will be revisiting the issue of a certain our democratic right to march and assemble in our own town centre. And as for today, we intend to remember with dignity and with a sense of pride the men and women who died for Irish freedom. I'm here to honour the volunteers who died uh, 40 years ago and all of the volunteers who give their lives for Irish freedom in Tyrone. That's the reason we're here today. It's hugely important to commemorate those who fought and died for Irish freedom. We wouldn't be where we are today and the struggle wouldn't have advanced to, the, to where it's today without these people who give their lives.
Well, we here in West Tyrone have been commemorating our day at now. This has gone on now for a number of years and we've obviously rotated this, started to rotate it. It's important here so that families actually, you know, know that we are, we'll never forget our, our, our fallen dead. Well, uh, today we have uh, honoured the Republican volunteers of County Tyrone on this, the 40th anniversary uh, of volunteers Harvey and McGlynn. And we're doing this in a dignified uh, way, which we were always going to do. The unionist uh, community, particularly their political leaders, have tried to uh, hype this whole situation out of all proportion. They've tried to rewrite history and they've tried to create an impression that we have no right to uh, honour our fallen dead. Uh, we have made it very clear that we were prepared to do this in a dignified way, which we have done today. Um, we have taken a number of initiatives as we were organising uh, this parade. But unfortunately, the unionist community couldn't see fit uh, to allow us to march around our own town centre. And that's an issue that we will have to return to. Um, here today uh, to remember or Patriot Dead uh, from the Castle Derrick area and the wider Tyrone area uh, that gave their lives for Irish freedom. Uh, as a young person I never had to go through what those volunteers had to go through. I don't have, we don't live in the same uh, circumstances. It's just right that us as young people should come out here and remember or Patriot Dead and what they gave. We wouldn't be where we are today politically without the sacrifices that these volunteers made and it's brilliant to see so many young people coming out in the Castle Derg area today to support what those volunteers gave for us. So I'd now like to call on two members of the local Sinn Féin Common to unveil the monument to the, the men and women who from this area dedicated their lives to the struggle uh, for Irish freedom. On behalf 
of the Saban Memorial Blues Band. Any day to remember our Patriot Day is a great day. Um, it's a privilege and an honour to be here in Castledale today and to be celebrating the lives of these brave men who give their, their lives for Irish freedom. Uh, freedom which, as a young person, I'm proud of. Without those men and indeed women's sacrifices over the last hundred years, we wouldn't be fit to do the things we are today. We have a peace process because of the sacrifice those men made. Unfortunately, with events leading up to today, and obviously heightened tensions. It's great to see that so many people turned out, in particular young people turned out here today. It's a peaceful, it's an honourable and a privilege to be here. It's a brilliant protest, it was well organised and it's fitting of the men and women who give their lives in that struggle. Oh, it's a pleasure to be, to be here and the, the many young people that were give their lives for Irish freedom and the fact that us young people now in this day and age are just a continuation of the struggle and uh, it's a pleasure to be here and you know more young people should be getting involved and I'm delighted to be selected as a candidate for the Sparing Ward in the new uh, Sturbanderry Council and uh, it's the commitment of those who have given their lives that have you know inspired me to join Sinn Féin and to become active in politics and you know to, to use the political means that we have at this present moment of time to free Ireland and uh, to gain our 32 county republic. Well I was asked to uh, speak at this commemoration, uh, it must be over a month ago, and I was very proud to do it at the time, but the more I listened to the media hype and the, this deluge of abuse about the integrity of uh, uh, these volunteers uh, who were killed, actually in proportion my wish to speak here um, grew. Uh, this happens every year, it's about not just the, 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 the volunteers who were killed uh, through the troubles in, uh, in Castle Derg and of course uh, Jared McGlynn and uh, Seamus Har Harvey, this is their 40th anniversary, um, but to honour all the dead in Tyrone and they have lost more than their fair share, there's something like 60 in their, on the roll of honour. And you know, there's a lot of hype around this, the unions are kicking up politicians, there's Orange Order complaining about and all of this here, you know. This is a very, very simple thing. Uh, we do not expect them to agree with the part that Republicans uh, played in uh, this long conflict, no more than they can expect us to agree with the part they played. But we allow them, and it is their right, to uh, be able to commemorate uh, their dead, those combatant forces on the British side. They also must allow for us to commemorate um, the combatant forces, the Republican combatant forces, the people who were involved in the IRA and other organisations uh, on the Republican side. And that's what this is about, it's about equality, it's not about equivalence. Um, I don't want them, I don't expect them to agree with our position. There is a, a double narrative, I don't agree with their position. But if they even accepted the fact that there are two narratives about our history then perhaps we would be able to move on from where we are at the moment and of course we're always up for having a conversation on that. It is ironic that here under Pat Dockery, the MP here, there actually have been quiet talks going on here 
for over five years. The, the centre of Castle Derg was agreed to be a shared space. If it is a shared space, then you know there's been something like 20 loyal order parades have come through it. Uh, there is a cenotaph. They do a remembrance uh, armed services down there. The Napoleons should be able to remember uh, their dead as well. It was a very dignified march, a very well attended march. Uh, the speeches uh, and anything that was said uh, about the bios of the people, uh, the volunteers who are dying and who are marked in this, uh, and, and this monument has just been opened today, who are marked in this monument. It was very dignified, people listened very quietly, and tonight, you know, when they sit down and uh, talk about or even over in the community centre at the moment, they'd be talking about how much they knew, how ordinary these uh, people were. They were ordinary young men who were caught up in an extraordinary circumstance and rose to that extraordinary challenge.